Hi everyone, Alex with Beam It Up here. Happy 2022 to all of you. If you're watching this, that's great news. It means you made it. Today we're gonna be talking about vertical openings, uh, also called shaft openings or slab openings. Uh, and they look like this. So shaft openings can be used for stairs, elevators, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing shafts, and some other construction elements. And although they fall under the architectural scope, it's always good to understand the process because the vertical openings or shafts can come from an MEP need and they have to be addressed by the architect and they have to be blessed by the structural engineer. I'm gonna do a totally separate video on the workflow for this because many people don't understand how this should be done. Typically you present the need for a shaft, let's say for a duct or for a bunch of plumbing pipes to the architect. The architect takes that information and he puts it into his model and the structural engineer is linking the architectural model and they can either accept that opening or they say, you know what, I cannot handle it. Why don't we do something here? So the better you understand this process, the better team player you will be. Almost forgot. See you in Revit. And before we even start, think about it. It makes sense. If you like this kind of content, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. You hit that bell so you get notifications. You don't miss any of our videos. Okay, so what I currently have open is our architectural model, the one that we linked in in uh, all of our videos. And I wanna show you something. Let's uh, go into visibility graphics and let's turn off our walls and our roofs. And I'm going to zoom in into the stair area. And as you can see, uh, you know, there's a break in the slab that is missing a shaft the stair shaft is missing you do have the stair but the slabs have to be broken into otherwise you know if you're you know going up the stairs you would hit your your head with the <laughs> with the slab right so uh, let's fix that so i have level one open as well and we have three stairs this this and this and uh the way we do that is with a shaft or vertical opening so if you go here under the architecture ribbon under the opening panel you have this shaft opening you see how it says that it creates a vertical opening that spans multiple levels cutting through intervening roofs floors and ceilings basically anything that it finds in the way it'll cut through so let's activate that and you can see that it takes us directly into sketching mode and you have two options you can either you can start probably picking like walls you can pick walls let's say i want this wall i want this wall and i want this wall this one yeah i did and then you know you, you would have to clean it up a little bit so let's trim here let's trim here and these two corners look decent uh, and then you know you would probably want to move this down a little bit right so that's that's one option another option could be simply i'm doing tab select to delete the whole thing another option is simply to select here rectangle and then you would find a nice intersection that you want to use and then you know another intersection that you want to use um, and you would probably want to lock this to the wall so that if this wall uh, you know shifts left then the stair shaft would get enlarged it would stretch to the left as well but that's not our scope you know we're not architects we're not structural engineers and they're the ones who should be worried about that but i just want you to understand what happens when they do this kind of things so uh, another thing we have to take into account is the um, base constraint. In this case, it would be good to have it at level one. Let, let's open our 3D view. 
So this should span this three floors. It doesn't get to the roof. In this particular case, this exit stair doesn't reach the roof, but if it did, then we, we would break into level one, level two, level three, and roof. But in this case, it's only level one, level two, and level three. So let me go back to my sketching mode on level one, and I'm gonna take it down. You want a base offset of, I would say, at least four feet, you know what? six feet maybe and then uh, the top constraint hey we want to we do want to break into level three and let's give it an offset of probably like three feet we just have to go above the slab to make sure that it breaks it properly and then uh, let's click ok and then if we go to our 3d view see we're able to select it see this is our shaft opening and it's spanning just like we thought it would. And now it's looking pretty good. See, now you can go up the stair and you don't hit your head against the slab. And I want to remind you that we finally have a date for our fire pump room in Revit MEP webinar. It's gonna be held this year on February 19 at 10 a.m. If you haven't signed up for it yet, you're still on time. Just send me an email to that email address that you see on screen. Don't miss out. So um, let's do the same thing for the other two stairs. Um, there's one up here. So you just go shaft. Again, my little rectangle here. And then, you know, pick like from here to here. If I had to, you know, we're, we're MEP consultants. We are designers. We are not architects or structural engineers. I'm gonna keep the same height. Click OK, let's check, perfect, we can go up there. And then let's do, lastly, this other stair, which is also missing the openings. So we'll go here, and then again, shaft, S select our rectangle here, from here to here. and then just uh, click OK. And now we have all our openings. So I just want to show you that guys so that um, you're aware of how to do that uh, and how to identify them in a model. See like probably this, see there's a shaft opening as well. And let's see if we can identify another one. I think I saw one here. See this one here? Yeah, so for this one, what I had done, you know, let me redo it. So what I had was, let's delete these two lines. I had my, let's say it was like this, right? So I click here and I found that there was a shaft opening here. But to me, I, I, I like to see it like X'd out with two diagonal lines. So, uh, you know, what the architect would do sometimes is they go to edit sketch and then you have here what's called a symbolic line. It's not a real element, it's just a line that that you can use to represent the the opening in the slab or that there's a vertical, there's a shaft there. So you go like this and then click on your check mark and then you have your, your shaft opening. Here, I don't, I wouldn't like to do that because I do want to see the stair, but like in this type of shafts, I would like to see something like, like that. So I could probably do the same with this one. Uh, but again, that's not our scope. I just wanted you guys to know how the architects and structural engineers deal with uh, shaft openings. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you like it down there. Subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you get notified. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.